right, guys, I got this nice little Asa from uh, Adrian Butcher in Rugby United Kingdom. Uh, commercial lock, I don't believe that... In, I got a very, very short note just telling me what it was, but he didn't say anything about having uh, uh, custom pins or anything in it. There's what our bidding looks like, which is pretty normal for Asa locks. These are, even though it's only a five-pinner, I really expect this is going to be quite a challenge to get into. Uh, particularly if they got those nasty ass serrated pins in there. Oh my god. Anyway, let's give it a try. See what we got. Um, I'm going to clamp it up here and I'm going to use, because we got the actuator there, I don't want to squeeze it in the rubber jaws and pinch that actuator. So I'm just going to squeeze, put a little rub, piece of rubber around there so that it'll compress on the lock before it compresses on the, uh, on the actuator itself. Um, I am going to put a mark on it. Let's see if we got any flop on it first. Maybe not that one. Try that one. That'll work. Uh, there is no flop, it doesn't seem like. Very little. So I'm going to pick it, I guess, clockwise. And I will put a mark. Try to keep it neat, Bill. Keep it right pretty much in the center there. So if we get hung up on something cool, we should be able to see it. Now I know that went in there. There we go. All right, it is a kind of a thin keyway, so I'm going to take a 13,000th from Rare Elements. All right, let's see what we got. I'm going to use heavy tension to begin with and find that first binder. And, of course, they're all binding, so I'm going to let off tension a little bit. I think I'm pinching everything in there. There it is. Pin five. I got a little click off of him. Okay, that was pin two. Tiniest of clicks. Let me zoom in. Sorry about that. I get so excited about brand new commercial ASA that I have no fault set. Still have moderate tension on it. I'm trying to I'm actually trying to bully it a little bit. But uh, that's not working. Okay, that was pin four. Got a little click. That was three. A little click. Two. I felt a very slight turn of the core, but looking at that mark, I can't really see anything on it. That was one. That was a little counter rotation on two, but I think I overset it. All right, that was five. Another click on him. Still no fault set. So if I get another click on him. Nope, I'm about to break my pick. There, a little counter rotation there on five. And there we go. I got another click, and he stopped counter rotating. So I think I got him. Tiniest of counter rotations on four. And the counter rotation stopped on him. A little bit of counter rotation on one there. And there we go. All right, it doesn't look like it's open, but the tailpiece is getting caught. Let me zoom out so I don't screw this up. All right, tailpiece was getting caught in the vise. And see if I can find which one was I using. There we go. So it is open. I think I think I'm going to take it apart. Even though I'll probably screw up those those two uh, C rings, I can I can get them on later. It won't be real neat, but I think I can probably do it. So let's go ahead and take advantage of this. It's a gift lock, right? All right, I have those are too small. Let's try this guy. See if no, those tips are never going to go in there. Let's see if these will go in there. Expand that for me without breaking the tips of my pliers off. It's going to be close. Okay, I've got it open a little bit. And I think I have to get the other one as well. Now I think I can grab it with pliers. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. 
come out of there. It is a little softer than steel. I think these are probably aluminum. But unlike some other guys, I just don't have the technique for gutting these European locks. And there's a special pair of pliers for this, but they're quite expensive. And since I don't work on these for a living, I'm not going to invest that kind of money. Although maybe I should, because this is not turning out too well here. Let me get some larger pliers. Okay, there we go. There's one. Okay, there we go. Now what? I see the detent, but I'm not sure that's got a lot to do with it. Get all my pliers out of here and find something to mash that detent with. A short hook. I don't think that's what, there we go. I guess it was. All right, it's time to start putting everything on a tray. So I'm gonna use this one by Stephen Zealous. out. Now we can get our follower in there. We do have a key. All right, from this point should be pretty easy, right? He says. Unless we have T-pins in there, then we're totally screwed. Look at the size of that gap. Come on. Oh, crap. Now what? No idea. All right. Go to the backup plan. All right, first let's take the pins out. There's two. There's one. Two also had a wafer in it. And three. And of course, everything's spilling out in there. God, I hate these locks. All right, so that's out of five. Do I see a pin for five? There he is right there. All right, this truly is one of those asses. All right, that's exactly what's happening is they're spilling down inside of that gap. So if I can get him unstuck, I should be able to push it back a little bit and then turn my core slightly. Not happening. There's our key pin. That's, oh, that was four. This one's, that one's four, sorry. That one was three. How could I screw this up worse? The only explanation is to break crap on the inside. These are all ASA pins, guys. 
This lock is probably not going back together. I got no idea. The sequence. All right, pinning doesn't matter at this point. I got one more pin caught in there. He's caught right in that crack. teach him. All right, they're all ASA pins. They're all serrated. I don't have any idea what the sequence of these guys are. I don't know how I could possibly have screwed this up any worse than I did, but I'm sure I could find it. Well, one of these was probably standard. Uh, guys, I got to tell you, no clue. No clue. <laughs> The only thing I can figure is when I turn this 90 degrees, all the pins were getting wedged very tightly into that groove. I should have turned him not quite 90. All right, anyway, let's take a look at this. There are some very slight serrations in all of these, and of course they are designed to catch these very tiny, very sharp edges on these ASA serrated pins. And there were four of those and one standard Shit. No, there weren't. There were five of those. <sighs> God. All right, Adrian, I am, I can't apologize enough for this. This little lock came all the way from the UK. It cost you a fortune to send it here, and I really screwed the pooch on this, so sorry about that, but uh, that's where it goes. God. There's another spring. <laughs> <laughs>